Long day's journey tonight is set over a single day. And over the course of the day, there's several revelations about this family. A lot of things come out and that sort of fuels the drama. Uh, and you find out that all these characters are sitting on a lot of things. Um, and it's got an interesting cyclical structure. You feel like this could happen every day and that when the curtain goes down, it might all start again the next day. I play uh, Jamie, J James Tyrone Jr. He is an alcoholic. Um, he is, as he describes, a bum. Uh, he skives off his, his parents, so in many ways he's a kind of a kid who never grew up in that sense. I play Edmund. He's been to college, got kicked out, travelled around South America, got sick, malaria, came back been drifting around all the various bars and is sort of reaching a point where he doesn't know where his life's going. He's writing for a local newspaper, um, but apart from that, he's kind of trapped in this household, in this environment. Uh, however high the stakes are in this play, it kind of doesn't really matter if you're comparing it to any kind of contemporary family drama because the dynamics are still the same. It kind of doesn't really matter when it's set. Uh, the kind of the traction and the conflict of a modern family are very much in existence and it's very recognisable uh, to the point of being quite uncomfortable, I think, if you're to see it through the eyes of your own family. In terms of young people getting something out of it, um, I, I mentioned this the other day, I think it's, and it only really occurred to me recently that in this play, the youth are really well represented. Edmund and Jamie's voices are really strong and present through the whole evening and you get to see their experiences of their life within this family um, very clearly, which isn't always the case I think with, with, with um, uh, plays with this kind of structure. So in, uh, in that sense I think it's something that young people will, it'll, it'll, they'll find will ring true with them. And it's a classic text for a reason. It's really good. <laughs> Eugene O'Neill also put a very loose version of himself in the play as Edmund, so it's a great insight into at least how he perceived his, his early years and himself developing as a writer and as a poet and what he went through. So I think anyone who works in the creative industries or in the, in the arts, will it's a really um, fantastic insight into how he developed and how, how that mind came about.